Grand rising, everybody. So, as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Boo Or Healing Guidance and Tarot. All right, this is going to be a quick update for our Sagittarians. Okay, so Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it does not matter, love. If you in any way identify as a Sagittarius, then this reading is going to be for you. All right, now let us go ahead and get into it, guys. Thank you, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. And if you have not already subscribed to the channel, then what are you waiting on? Go ahead. And click that red button okay make sure that it is no longer red by the time the end of this video comes all right join the family if you are already a subscriber okay you already subscribed to the channel but you want more okay you want to see me more often you want more videos you want more perks you want more goodies all right join the membership okay we have three different options we have the blue bird true blue and true heart okay blue heart so what are you are you a blue heart okay are you a blue bird or are you true blue right <clears throat> true blue is for those of you who are die hard blue or healing fans y'all support me on each and every platform you know youtube facebook instagram wherever the hell i'm at the podcast my books whatever i'm doing y'all support <laughs> All right, Bluebirds is for those of y'all who are just starting to get to know me. You know, you want to support in a little additional way, but you're like, ah, what can I do? You can do that. You can be a Bluebird. All right, we love you some Blue Over Healing. You come by every now and again to see your messages. Blue Over Healing, Bluebird. Okay. Now, in regards to the um, Blue Heart, all right, those are people who, you know, have been here for a minute, but... You're, be, you're getting very fond of me, all right? You're getting very fond of me. You're like, you're that Keontae girl. I really like that Keontae girl, all right? That would be <laughs> your group, all right? So let us see. What is the message for you, Sag? What is the message? <clears throat> Sagittarius. So moon rising. I had to get the cards ready, so I had to talk to y'all about that. All right, we have the Empress in reverse, Okay. <clears throat> so there's this could talk about luxuries this could talk about the finer things in life but in this regard i'm just hearing somebody say they don't feel like themselves they don't feel so beautiful right now all right you're not feeling beautiful right now eight of cups is here okay maybe somebody pulled away from you emotionally all right and this made you question yourself made you question who you are okay because somebody just they walked away from you out of nowhere with this eight of cups okay so it made you feel like you weren't attractive or like you weren't wanted all right we have the world card in reverse it's funny though because this person walked away from you um you know causing you to feel all these types of ways but i feel like with the world card they're just gonna come back okay they're coming right back and I feel in this instance, you get the opportunity now to do to this person what they did to you. You get to make them feel how they made you feel. However, with you being who you are, I don't see you doing that tit for tat stuff. All right. I see you more so being like, well, <clears throat> you know, losing interest, having a lack of concern altogether. Yeah, we have the death card. Yeah. So I see you just all together just not wanting to be involved. Okay. Like the person keeps trying to come back into your life, keep trying not to let the situation in. But the thing is, they walked away from you. All right, they chose to close the door on whatever type of love you guys were budding or getting started, okay? So, your your energy, it doesn't feel like you give a shit to go tit for tat. You don't care for that. What you care about is getting the shit over and done with. Being done with the person. Being done with the situation. Because it really made you feel low about yourself with the Empress in reverse, okay? We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yep. <clears throat> So this person's going to come back around wanting to work on it, wanting to put in effort and energy they feel like they didn't put in before, that they feel like they should have before. I feel like it's a scheme. I feel like it's something up with that, okay? The reason I say that is because the Empress is somebody who enjoys the finer things in life, but she can also give those things to herself and those that she loves. That's why she's the Empress. She's in a position where she plays the mother figure role. She can help everybody, okay? Because she, she knows what to do with her income. She knows what to do with her resources right so with this nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck i feel like this person knows that they took you for granted they walked away from you made you feel like you were less than who you actually are as this empress here all right but now that you've um caught your second win or you you remember who the hell you are or something like that you like no all right cool if that's what you want to do you want to walk away walk away okay you finally made peace with this it wasn't easy because it's in your challenge position so it was difficult for you to make peace with the fact that this happened this is what it is, and this is where you are. Now that you've made peace with it, <clears throat> this person wants to come back around. Let me tell you a little secret about this spiritual stuff, okay? That's just how it works. That is how it goes down, okay? When 
<clears throat> you have an energetic connection or energetic cord, energetic attachment to somebody. Excuse me. This person can sense when you're done. This person can sense when you don't want to deal with them anymore. And so, guess what? That's when the shenanigans starts, okay? <clears throat> this may be someone who is so used to getting their way that if and when they don't, um, they start throwing fits and tantrums and stuff like that. Okay, they just may be a person who's very used to getting their way. But with you, no, you did me wrong. You don't, you know, get the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to come back and do that again. Yeah, lovers in reverse. No, you don't get to do that again. Nope. We had a Ten of Pentacles. You guys were building something up. <clears throat> like I said, you were building something up. The person did not want to put in the work. It was something that was going to take work. Okay, so in other words, let me just give it to you like this. All right. No offense to the fellas out there, but this is where we be getting so annoyed sometimes. Some of the ladies get so annoyed with some of the fellas because of stuff like this, okay? You don't want to be with the person that's going to challenge you. You don't want to be with the person that's going to force you to grow. You want to be with the person that, um, and when I say force you, I mean because there's, there's such an empress that you look at them and you say, damn, I have to be an emperor. That's that's forcing you to grow. Not like, oh, you better change. You better change. I don't mean like that because you cannot force any grown-ass person to literally do anything they want, don't want to do. What I'm saying is, through your example, you make that person want to change. If that person doesn't want to change through your example, then that might not be a person. Because, I mean, they just wanted the easy way out. They wanted somebody who was going to take care of them. Who was going to, you know, give them income. And, and who was going to provide everything. No. Knight of Wands in reverse. They don't have any ambition when it comes to getting things done or getting things accomplished. They may go ahead and be very impulsive. Start something. But, oh, this is what I want to do. But they never finish what they start. So, it was an impulsive decision that they made to walk away from you in the first place. And now they don't want the situation to end. Now they're regretting everything that happened because their money is funny. And their emotions are all over the place, okay? So that's just what it boils down to. Their money is funny right now, and the emotions are all over the place. They did this to you, now this is their karma now, that's why they feel bad. Did you feel bad the entire time, or did you feel bad when the shit didn't work out? You know what I mean? So let us see, death card. <clears throat> we have the eight of wands. Yep, you feel like this person would be um, slowing you down. You feel like this person would be in the way. A lot of you are about to start moving as well. For work, okay, there's a new work opportunity that's going to require you to move, all right? So, you staying behind for this person. You see, we have Justice to Emperor. So, you moving for this new position, you're actually going to meet somebody new. This person is going to be an emperor, okay? This person could be um, the one that you work for or someone that um, owns their own business around where you go, okay? This may be somebody that wants you to come and work for them. This may actually be a boss of something. They may own something, all right, and ask you to come and work for him, and then that ends up developing into something else. That's just what I see, okay? But that's that's in the future. All right. But right here, this is a King of Pentacles in reverse. So we could have been talking about a Virgo. And that's. Oh, oh, shit. Ugh. OK, because the thing that gets me about that is that's just really weird. Virgos are workaholics. So it's like, what kind of Virgo is this? I don't know. But <clears throat> mm -hmm. you're going to have to go to another sign. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. We got the Six of Swords and the Tower card. Yeah, so you're moving on to good times. And if this person wants to come back around, I'm telling you now, it's going to interfere with everything that you have going on. Period. If you were to allow this individual to come back in or come back around, it's going to throw off everything else that you have going on. We have the Moon card. So it talks about a lot of truth that has yet to be revealed to you. So I'm telling you, don't let this person in too early. Just hold up. Wait a minute. We have Knight of Pentacles. Take your time with everything that you've been doing. You've been building a nice and steady foundation. Continue to do so. And then we have the Two of Wands in reverse along with the Two of Swords in reverse. Okay, when it comes to this Two of Cups situation, which is the Ace of um, ace of cup situation as well so when it comes to this love situation are we going to allow it back in no we are not because we've made up our mind and we know exactly what it is that we want to do we know there are many truths that have yet to be revealed about why this person left us but we also know that this person made a very impulsive decision when they left now that things are not working out the way that they want them to they want to come back and they don't want things to end with us that's not okay because here spirit is telling us that we need to end the situation because we are going to be moving soon to a new destination for work employment okay Okay, this situation is going to be something we've been waiting on, something we have the perfect skills and assets for, all right, with the Three of Pentacles, and this is going to bring about karmic justice for us. So all of that sadness that we were feeling is going to go bye-bye, okay? So if this was your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair,